everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is mel and this is mella smokes today i have a haul for you um i've been out and about shopping recently so i thought i would share with you what i've bought um the haul covers hobbycraft the range the works poundland and sainsbury's so let's get started um i'm gonna start with sainsbury's so um today i popped in there to look for these stickers and for this post-it note set so this post-it note has cactuses uh, which i thought was really sweet um it comes in this little pot so you can actually take the pot out i haven't taken it out of its cellophane um, but i thought it was just really lovely and it'd be really good for just putting notes on things or putting them in your planner um, I plan to use some of these on cards as well, which I thought would be quite sweet. And this was £3. And the next things I bought were these, which is uh, these stickers. So you've got um, the cookie, the milk, uh, these clowns, donuts and drinks, uh, the cactus, carton of milk and the popcorn. So I thought these were really sweet. These are a pound each these stickers so I got two of these ones and then I got one of these ones as well which has like a fast food on it. it has pretzels pizza popcorn donuts burgers hot dogs uh, just these were really lovely as well so I got a pack of these and also a pound the next door I went into was the work so I got some post-it notes, uh, so there's three packs there, and then I'll start off first with these. So I got these gem craft jars, these are a pound, and you get eight jars, and there's eight different colours here. So you've got dark pink, um, you've got a yellow, red, um, I think that's a blue, silver, green, red, and purple. So I thought those were quite nice. These would be really good for pocket letters. I've been trying to get into pocket letters recently. So I thought we'd be able to include some gems in there. So if I start sending them out, then um, I'll include a little pot of gems in there. So I thought that's, that was really good for a pound. I also got these colours for a pound as well. So you've got like an, an iridescent. You've got silver, dark blue, uh, yellow. And we've got purple, a lighter blue, pink and the green, also a pound. And there are eight jars in there as well. So it's really, really good. Put them in pocket letters too. So I thought I could have a variety of gems in there. And then these post-it notes, were, which are a pound each. Um, spotted these on a few other YouTube channels. So I just thought I'd pick these up for friend mail or even for pocket letters if you just chop them up individually so i got this panda one that says i'm not fat i'm just fluffy which i thought was really sweet and it has um, these pandas on the back so that was a pound and i think you get one two three four five i think there's one more at the bottom so you might you get six you get six little tabs here post-its so i thought that was really sweet um i got this unicorn one this also has six, it has orange, purple, pink, um, a lighter pink, yellow and blue. So I just thought these are really sweet. And then I got the llama one, the no drama llama. Um, so it's got the green, purple, the teal colour, um, the pink, um, the yellow and also a green, another green. So I thought they'd be perfect for friend mail, for pocket letters as well, if you just chop them up individually. And for a pound, really, really great value. And it seems like you get a lot in there as well. So that's really good. And two was Poundland. So I've got these gems. So the, here you have the blue, the pink, green, purple. And then you've got uh, multi-coloured as well, which I thought was really good. Really lovely colours. You get quite a, gr a good amount of, of gems on there. 
and that's brilliant for just either putting on your cards using those embellishments even cutting them into sections to put into pocket letters or friend mail um, and these would be really beautiful to send out or to put on your cards so I've got a pack of them they were a pound also got these ones which is blue pink yellow mint green and then this red at the bottom these i think are in strips but i think you would be able to cut them out individually or in sections and i thought these would be great again for the same reasons for cards friend mail pocket letters you have to put a variety of colors in there so that'd be that's really lovely next things i've got were sequin mixes so I got this one, this one is like a blue mix, so it has a mix of like a teal blue, a turquoise blue, white, uh, either a black or a darker blue, I think that's actually black, so I thought this sequin mix would be really lovely. Then I got this one which is orange and it's got purples and pinks in it, so it looks very Halloween-y. But I think this would be really nice. Maybe add a little bit of black in there. Put some clear gems in there as well. That'd make a really good individual mix. And then I got the silver, which if I just bring to the screen. Sorry about the glow, guys. And this is really nice as well. Maybe put some clear gems in this one as well. Make it into a different kind of mix. These are really good as base mixes if you wanted to change the mixes up a little bit. So you could add either gems that you've already got in your own collection and then just mix them up because these are really, really beautiful. And the last thing I've got from Poundland are these sponge cuffs. Now I've wanted to get the Lawn Fawn Stamp Chamois for quite some time now. Um, but I think that these sponge cloths are pretty much similar to the Stamp Chamois. Um, these come in damp in this in this packet and there's six in this packet um, so what you would need to do is just either wet them and let them dry over time when you've stopped using them and then um, they'll go hard and then you'll wet them again and then they're, they'll go soft so what I plan to do is I plan to cut them up into sections and then when I've used my ink stamps I will use the cloth to clean the stamp and then leave it out on the desk to dry out and then wet them again when I need to use it so I thought this would be really good. So I got those. The next shop that I went into was the range. So I just got some basics. So I got the C6 white cards, which is equivalent to your 4x6 cards, I think. So these are just white, 250 GSM, and you get 50 in there really good really thick card really good quality card as well and you get loads in there these include the envelopes as well so this was five pounds the next thing i got was this um emoji stamp set so it's got the laughing emoji the smiling emoji and the poo emoji and this is just really cute really cute i'm going to um use this for a birthday card that i'm doing for a friend um, so I thought that she'd definitely, definitely like that. I thought it would be fun. Next thing I got were these um, 3D foam dots. So there's quite a few here. These are great for um, just layering. So if you really wanted to make um, 3D cards, for example, or just even to just add dimension to cards, this is great. Um, more recently I've been finding that the 3D foam pads that I've either been buying from um, Poundland or very similar places that just sell cheaper ones they haven't been working as well they've been very brittle or they've come apart when you try to peel them off or um, it just seems very different like the quality is a lot more different but these ones are really really good I've always stuck with these for, for a while so I thought I'd get a pack of these and these are perfect for cards and scrapbooking, just a bit of layering. 
and you don't need too many either. Also got these gems. Um, so these come in red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink and purple. And you get 500 plus gems on there, which is really, really lovely. Really great assortment. Again, for pocket letters or friend mail. And then I got these ones as well. I put them up against the uh, the foam dots so you can see the colours properly. So you've got silver. Then you've got like a purpley lilac or purpley pink, I guess. And you've got the lilac or like a light, really light purple. And then you've got the pink, like the fuchsia colour. And these are just really nice as well, just for embellishments on cards or even just for friend mail as well. These are lovely. So I think that the emoji stuff was a pound. The adhesive gems were either a pound or 150. These adhesive gems were either a pound or 150. And these were a pound, the foam dots. So those are the bits that I got from the range. Up what I went to was Hobbycraft. So last week, as it was half term, um, Hobbycraft had a deal on their A4 card. So this is the pastel, which has yellow, mint green, pink, um, gray, and blue. I don't know if you'll be able to see that clearly, but there's 50 sheets in the pack. And these are normally five pounds, but they were selling them for 250 during half term. So I got the white one as well. I plan to get another couple of white A4 packs and then maybe a black A4 pack as well. But I didn't get to Hobbycraft in time as they I think their deal was either finishing on Sunday or Monday. I think it was Sunday evening that they were finishing, but I just couldn't get to one in time. So I just got these two packs for now. Um, but this is really great. This is like 210 GSM, 50 sheets in each pack. Normally £5, 250 can't really argue with that. And it's really, really good quality. Um, I normally use this just for stamping on. Um, I used to get my card from Poundland actually because the thickness was pretty much the same. You get 30 sheets for a pound, but the quality of the Poundland ones weren't, weren't good actually. They were They changed the texture of the card itself and they made it a lot more glossy so now I get either my card from Hobbycraft I normally get the the A5 size or the A6 size because they do a smaller one as well and I normally get the pack of that um, and that's really good to stamp on because I can just put it in my Misty or in my Tim Holtz stamp platform and I'm able to use it on there and just stamp in like smaller quantities instead of chopping the paper down but this is a great alternative to be able to just have more card because you can never have enough white card um, so I thought that was a bargain at 2 50 each I got this Spirograph set this is a Spiro stencil so this reminds me back in the day when I was 10 or so maybe probably younger maybe a tiny bit older but I remember Spirograph as a child uh, I used to love creating like flowers and patterns on this. So I thought this would be really good to make Sparograph flowers, for example, on the front of cards. Um, I thought that would be quite a different kind of design or a different technique, especially with different coloured biros. I thought this would be really good. So you get the two the two stencil holes here and then you have three of the um, the discs that you would put your biros in. So I thought they were really good. That was pound. I got this stamp set. This says have a great day. And this was one pound and twenty p. Had a great range of stamps in, and hobby craft at my local one anyway. And they had lots of ones from Hampton Art, Jelly Bean Soup. They had lots more of these smaller stamps as well, in their different like new varieties I think. And they were really great, really good value for money. They got their own brand of stamps as well, and they're really good quality. So it was really good to get that stamp, which I thought was really nice. And then the last thing I got was this, which is easy tear tape, and this is from Sticks 2. This is permanent, and this is 25 metres. It's also 12 millimetres in width, so I thought that was quite good. Um, I normally use red liner tape. If you would have seen my previous video for the Valentine's Day card, you'll know that I use red liner tape for most things because it's 
who I think is quite a good adhesive to use. But I thought I would give this a try as a really as as an alternative. So I thought I would give this a go and see if it's good. This was two fifty, so I thought I'd give that a try. And then I don't have to cut it with scissors or anything like that. Um, I can just tear it off. So it'd be good to do some layering with that. So guys, that is my haul. Thank you very much for watching. If you have social media, please follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like, comment and even if you'd like to, subscribe too. And um, until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Bye.